welcome back to the channel. This is Vintage and Collectible Stuff, and boy, do I have a video to show you today. By the way, it's July 4th, so happy July 4th to all my American viewers, and uh, belated July 1st, Canada Day for all my Canadian viewers out there. So I went to a local uh, antique mall just down the highway, and I've been there a few times and came across a big lot of football and hockey cards. Now, I'm just going to show you the football. There's only uh, maybe 20 or so hockey cards. I've already sold one. It was an Austin Matthews uh, rookie year. Tim Horton's card got $10 for it. Not going to show you the hockey. Uh, altogether, this cost me $100. So I've already made uh, $10 of that back. And I'm going to show you all the hockey or all the football. And I went ahead and I put... Uh, sticky post-it notes to tell me which years they are because uh, I'm not a football uh, historian or big fan and all these uh, old players I've never seen play very few names I've come across so I'm going to start with 1983 tops and we've got here a Walter Payton card I think this is from his uh, we'll take a look it's from 1983 like I said it's when he played for the Chicago Bears and then there's also another card in that set from 1883. It is the uh, team leaders card. And he led the team in rushing with 596. So not too bad to lead us, lead us off. Then we've got Bubba Smith. This is a 1971 Topps card. And uh, it looks very much like the 1975 baseball design. And uh, there's Bubba Smith. I think, did he not star in the movie movies, Police Academy? Is that who I'm thinking of when I hear the name Bubba Smith? So that's uh, card number 53. And then I've also got a second year card of, from 1973. And it's another Bubba Smith. Defensive N with the, I was going to say Indianapolis Colts, but I've learned now that they were Baltimore before they turned to Indianapolis. So this is, is I think, is his second year or third year card. So... I, oh, this is the second year card, I think, or third, and that's a few years later. All right, 1972 tops. I've got two cards here. The first one is somebody called Norm Sned, uh, quarterback for the New York Giants. And that's what the back of the card looks like. So you can see he played for Washington, then Philadelphia, then Minnesota, and then in this year he started for the, for the Giants. Not too sure if he's a Hall of Famer, but uh, probably is because that's why I put him in a top loader. And then uh, probably the most, uh, maybe the second most valuable or famous card, it's uh, Dick Butkus uh, with the Chicago Bears. This is also, I think, 1972. And this is the back of his. He's, of course, he is a, I guess you call him a pro ball hall of famer. So, this is uh, 1972. Like I said, he came out in 1965 with his first year. And uh, yeah, he's a great linebacker. So there is Dick Butkus. Unfortunately, the corners are a little bit badly done uh, with dings, but there's no crease. It's pretty well centered, and it's got a very clean back, off-centered, but you know, there's no uh, wax stains or it wasn't stuck to any kid's binder or pages or wall so that's pretty cool and then i've got a stack here of 1970 tops and i won't go through all of them because that would just take too much time but we have here mostly they're all commons except there is one one hall of famer and that would be i asked kind of cool picture there of dave grayson with the the raiders kind of a cool pick this guy here, I'm going to probably butcher his name, but his name is Nick Bion Bionni Conti here with the Miami Dolphins. He's a linebacker. He is in the Hall of Fame. And uh, so I, I, I saw that. That's pretty cool. Bob Long, Jerry Rush, Ray Mansfield. And then uh, this guy is, I believe, a Canadian Football Hall of Famer, Joe Cap quarterback here with the Minnesota is it Minnesota Vikings so that's a pretty cool card it is in good condition no creases and uh, I like that card very much probably because he's in the Canadian Hall of Fame 
All right, moving on to my next stack, we have 1969 tops, and we've got a few cards here. We've got uh, Les Jos Josephson, uh, can't pronounce his name, Willie Richardson with the Colts again, Pete Perot of the Bengals, Dick Holt with the Pittsburgh Steelers running back, and Joe Scarpati, defensive back with the Philadelphia Eagles. So these last two cards especially were in very good condition, uh, considering the age, 1969. So that's why they're in the top loaders. These are just in the penny sleeves. Okay, moving right along, 1966. I've never heard of a, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, a brand called Philadelphia. That's what it says when I looked them up. And I got two rookie cards, uh, somebody called Bobby Walden and Wayne Rasmussen. The Vikings and the Lions, respectively, not in great condition. Um, some surface issues, and the card on the left has got a crease. Uh, but that's what the back looks like for these two cards. So they're rookie cards, but I don't think they played very long in the NFL. Keeping with 1966, I got one card here from of Steve DeLong with the Chargers. It has a crease not going all the way down, but just past his hairline there. Uh, otherwise, the card's really nicely centered. I obviously recognize the, the design from the baseball cards and the hockey cards. I had like the TV set in a um, wood grain sort of outline border. So I know that these cards are susceptible to chipping, but this one's looking pretty good. And there's the back of it. Steve won many letters as a high school athlete. So again, they got little bio information there of Steve DeLong of the Chargers. And now moving on to 1963, I got two cards here. One of somebody called Frank Uso with the Vikings like the pose there, you know, given the the uh, Randy Savage flex. And that's what the backs look like. What does Frank do during the off season? Place red paper on card and see the answer. Something to do with a hotel, but I'm not going to investigate that any, any, any further. And the second card is John David Crow of the St. Louis Cardinals. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, Two things to note about this card. The first is the face on this guy. So try to put on a scary face. He's got that awesome looking 1960s buzz cut. And the card is in really good condition. So it's centered well. The corners are good on the top and on the bottom. <coughs> and the back is obviously very clean as well. What cardinal mark did John set in his first game? And I'm not sure. I can't see the answer. Whoever buys this card, though, is welcome to try to reveal it. And then two cards from 1961. Tops as well. The first one is Leo Nomellini, defensive tackle of the from the 49ers. Uh, he might be actually a Pro Bowl Hall of Famer. I'm not 100% sure, but I got a funny feeling that he is. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then Jim Ringo. I've got two Jim Ringo cards in this pile that I bought. This is the first one. Uh, played a center position for the Green Bay Packers. Of course, it's got all kinds of uh, surface wear. But the corners are rounded. No, no um, creases, though, which is kind of cool. I have no idea what this is. Make a photo, rub edge of coin over blank space, and you get a photo. So there's Jim Ringo, card number 44 from 1961, Hall of Famer. That's sweet. Let's move the next pile over. I don't want to make this into too long of a, of a video. We've got a handful of cards here from Fleer that made football cards just like they made baseball cards back in the day. And uh, so nobody really big here except for maybe the N. These cards are in like low to mid grade. That's kind of a cool photo. And then we have, oh, we got two Buddy Mayfields. That's what was special about this. 
Let's take a look at 1960 tops. I've got a whole stack here that I'm not going to open, but they're all in like mid to uh, low grade. And we've got a checklist here from the first series. And I got, I had two Woodley Lewis, so I put one in a top loader, the best looking one with uh, no creases, nicely centered, nice corners. There, you got football funnies on the back. I'm just gonna zoom in for a second. Say, buddy, this match you gave me doesn't work. That's funny, it did for me. I guess it's uh, lighting a cigar or something, so it's not really too sure what's funny about that. At least not today in uh, 2023, it's not. Second card is Doug Atkins. Uh, probably had a double of him, so I put one in a top loader. And the last card is the second Jim Ringo card. Again, this is from uh, 1960 Tops, and there he is again playing with the Green Bay Packers. And this card is, again, I would call this probably a VG card. Uh, maybe even excellent, because there's uh, no crease, nicely centered. It does have a fisheye here by his head. Uh, there might be a slight surface wear somewhere on this card. And the back is very clean as well. So I might call this a VG++ card. So there's another Hall of Famer in second, Jim Ringo. Moving along to Bowman. So Bowman cards, I've got a few stacks here of Bowman cards. This is 1955. I'm gonna start off with, uh, zoom out a little again, again here for you. Four players from the Philadelphia Eagles. Wayne Robinson, Bob Watson, love that look on his face. He looks very happy to get his photo taken. Ken Snyder, a tackle, and Ed Edward Bell, uh, a rookie tight end, I guess. And uh, probably the worst of the four cards of the, of the Eagles. Well, that's pretty neat, though. Love the fact that they uh, all have the yellow background. So yellow and green went really well in this design. We've got uh, a 49er with a big crease across his face. We have uh, a rookie quarterback here, Ralph Giglai, Giglai me? G I'm not too sure, I'm butchering that name. Joe Heap, a rookie halfback for the Giants. Ken Kuntz, halfback. Uh, Bob, what's his name, from the Lions, as a halfback. Uh, a taco from the Rams. That's a nice little, sort of looking uh, card there. We've got Ed Brown, quarterback for the Bears. And last card is Joe Arenas, a halfback with the 49ers. If I'm missing any Hall of Famers here, just give me a shout out in the comments because I did look them up. I probably missed a few in my recording here. But let's move on to 1958 tops. And I got 35 cards so this was the biggest number of cards uh, from one set. So 35 is quite huge. It's about, uh, it's just over 20% of the all cards I got here. So we've got uh, Steelers, we've got a Redskin, we've got a Philadelphia Eagles team card, and we got a Cardinal. We've got Art Donovan with the Baltimore Colts. I believe this fella might be a Hall of Famer. Chuck Benar Benarik of the Eagles, linebacker. I could be wrong, but I think he might be a Hall of Famer. We have a whole stack in here, and then we have another small stack, and another small stack here. Ed Tunnel. There's a whole bunch of rookie cards in this 35 card lot. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. That's all again from what, 19, what I say it was Bowman, 1955 Bowman, I think. All right, almost done. Put some more cards here. 1954 Bowman, I've got just three from this year. We got Bufford, Bufford Long with the New York Giants. Looks to be some sort of running back, the way he's holding the ball. 
And we have uh, this Ray fella, New York Giants. He might be a Hall of Famer. He's a center. Not 100% sure, but he might be a Hall of Famer. Probably I'm wrong. And then we have a quarterback. Am I right? Quarterback here with the New York Giants. Arnold Galafi, Galifa, Galifa. I think I'm saying that right. So look at the nice color on this on this card with the blue helmet and the, the ball there and then the blue in the background. So a lot going on here with the, um, not too sure what's behind him, but it's yellow. So we've got like all kinds of colors from the rainbow. These all have nice colors. Pretty good. All right. Last but not least, I have a set here from Topps Magic 1951. And these are the mini cards. And uh, the condition, of course, are not very good. They were one time taped somewhere because there's still tape on most of them. So this is William Owens with the Red Raiders. So this, I think, are all college cards or university college football team cards. And they were also not only taped but glued or taped somewhere else, unfortunately. So for most of these. So there's Owens. Here's Dabros Dabrowalski with the Orangeman. I think that's probably Syracuse. We've got Dick Gregory with the Gophers. Funny looking picture there. Uh, See so that one doesn't have any. That one doesn't have any glue or tape on the back, so that's a bonus. And there's no tape on the front, so a couple of these did survive. We got Lou De Chile, a quarterback with the Fighting Hosers, Hose, Hosiers. Again, a relatively clean, clean back. Frank Smith of the Hurricanes. Dick Hightower with the Mustangs. Tom Rushing with the Maroons. And Bert Reichikar with the Volunteers. And that's what the back of that one looks like. So, and of course, I think probably the best card I'm saving for the end it is also one of the oldest cards from the 1951 Topps Magic. And that is this quarterback, oh, sorry, halfback with the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes. This is Vic Genowix. Genowix? And uh, don't pardon the top loader has a bit of a sticker there I didn't take off, but you see the tape on the top. And of course the back has this unfortunately. So this actually goes for in high grade like $50 raw and in uh, um, low grade but graded goes for about 50. And then, you know, graded high grade, you know, in the hundreds of dollars. So mine is obviously a low grade card and it's not graded by any company and won't be because I think it's just kind of maybe foolish to get this one graded. Uh, actually, the same goes for, I think, all these cards. There's only about, of the 125 cards that I got, I'd say maybe 10 of these cards are actually worth grading. Of those 10, maybe probably nine are all commons. And there might be one Hall of Famer that might be worth getting graded, but it's not the rookie card. So then again, you know, am I actually going to gain much by getting it graded? So, but I've got these all for sale. And if you're interested, uh, drop me a line. I'll let you know where to go and find them. I do have a couple eBay sites and uh, I could uh, show you the way. So thanks for watching my video. This is vintage football for a change. Never thought I'd make a vintage football video, but there you go. Here it is. Here it is. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Take care. Bye.